you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm here. I, uh, most of you probably have no idea who I am. Uh, I was actually, I was fired from this show uh, a while ago, but if, you know, don't look that up, please. If you don't know who I am, please don't Google that. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, I, this is, I, sh I probably shouldn't be up here, honestly. I should be home, I should be, I should be a high school football coach. That's what I should be. Like, God molded me perfectly to be a high school football coach slash ninth grade sex education teacher. <laughs> but that is, <laughs> that is what I wanna be. That is, you know, I can feel it. It's in the, it's like my true calling. And you feel, you know, I can feel it, you know, I'm getting older, it's passing me by. You know, like my biological clock is ticking on this stream. You know how like, uh, you know how like when a, a woman's biological clock is ticking, she sees like a baby in a stroller and is like, oh my God, your baby. Like that's how I am if I see like, like a big 15 year old, I'm like, oh my God, look at the size of that kid. <laughs> With the right coaching, that kid could be something special, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I actually, I come from a long line of coaches in my family. My, my father is actually a volunteer assistant girls high school basketball coach. <laughs> He's actually here right now. Can you get him on there? Yeah. There he is. There's my dad, the volunteer assistant girls high school basketball coach. <laughs> I thought it was funny. All right. <laughs> You don't think that's funny to bring my dad here to make fun of him for being a girl's high school basketball coach? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought it was great. Never mind. Thought that was going to be a big hit here. Uh, now my mom's up there with him. My mom, <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of you. My mom asked me this a lot, and it's kind of an intense question. My mom asked me, she's like, when did we stop being best friends? And she's right, we used to be best friends. You remember that when you were a little boy and you like, you loved your mom and you thought she was the cool, you remember when you were gay? <laughs> you remember when you were just a gay little boy? Every little boy is just their mom's gay best friend. There's literally zero difference. I was gay for my mom. She would pick me up from school. I'd hop in the van, I'd be like, girl, tell me about your day. I thought she was cool. I would listen to her music. I'd be like, bam, bam, ba bam, 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 bam. Let's go, girls. <laughs> I would dance for her. Just... She'd be like, look at my little dancer. <laughs> but uh, my mom asked me when we stopped being best friends, and I don't, I don't have the heart to tell her, because like most men, I know exactly when me and my mom stopped being friends. It was, uh, it was the first time I whacked off. <laughs> All right. Because before... <laughs> Before that, you're like, oh, where's my mom? I love my mom, she's so cool. One nut, you're like, when's that bitch gonna leave the house? <laughs> I have so much business to attend to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope I could say those words on TV. Uh... <laughs> anyway, my whole family's here, so I'll talk about them instead of anything else. Uh... <laughs> Talk about my family, I'll tell you this, I don't know if you guys, uh, if you can tell by looking at me, but I do have family members with Down syndrome. <laughs> it almost got me, I, I dodged it, but it nicked me, it nicked me. <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> it's funny. Look, I don't have any material that can be on TV, all right? <laughs> I'm trying my best. Also, this place is extremely well lit. I can see everyone not enjoying it. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, just the most nervous I've ever been. Don't clap now. Shut up. <laughs> no, I talk about. I brought up Down syndrome. You got. You can always tell who's never been around Down syndrome when you bring it up. Like if I tell people, if I'm like, yeah, I have family members with Down syndrome. People that have never been around it are always like, oh. Like it's, like, it's the end of the world. Like, oh, are they okay? Are they doing? It's like, they're doing better than everybody I know. <laughs> they're the only ones having a good time pretty consistently. They're not worried about the election. <laughs> they're having a good time. My niece, <laughs> my niece has Down syndrome, and uh, I thought that was going to get a bigger laugh. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were allowed that fun here. Uh, but no, my niece has Down syndrome. It's a funny thing that happens when someone in your family has Down syndrome. It goes 
when my sister was pregnant, everybody was like very, very scared. And then once, you know, once they come into your life, you realize that's easily the only good member of your entire family. <laughs> it's crazy. And then your family gets like too proud. Like now every single day in my family's group text, it's just pictures of my niece. And every day somebody else in my family comments, she looks exactly like Uncle Shane. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to be like, yeah, I see it a little. <laughs> and there's no denying it, she does. She looks like me with bangs. <laughs> just happy, just. <laughs> But my sister, my sister, my niece's mother, she didn't know she could get pregnant, so she, she foster cared and then adopted three black kids, and then she finally got pregnant, and now she has a kid with Down syndrome, and uh, her husband is from Egypt. He's an Arab guy. You go over to their house, it's like getting in the craziest Uber pool you've ever been. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, how did you guys meet? This is... <laughs> but there's something, I don't know, my niece, one day... I'm not saying it's like something I'm looking forward to, but I think it'll be a nice thing uh, for the whole country. Uh, I would say when my niece is probably in like fifth, sixth grade, out at recess, and some white kids out there are like, hey, you're not allowed to play with us, you're retarded. And then uh, three black kids come flying out of nowhere, <laughs> just start wailing on that cracker. Everyone's gonna be like, oh! <laughs> it's, like it's like a nice moment. <laughs> yeah, you guys you said cracker. Uh, <laughs> no, we, uh, my family and I, we actually, we opened a coffee shop in my hometown for people with Down syndrome to work at, and uh, it's going, don't clap. <laughs> I didn't do it for the claps, I did it, uh, you know, it's going exactly how you'd think it would go. <laughs> it's doing well, actually, lying around the corner every day, not because there's like a ton of people going, but service is... <laughs> Everyone's getting apple juice. We don't know how to fix that problem. <laughs> there's one thing you know. <laughs> there's one thing you notice though when you work with these guys, and it's very, it's funny. There's literally there's zero difference between us and them, and uh, especially at work, there's no difference. Every day these dudes show up to work just. <sighs> and you're like, what's your problem, dude? They're like, I hate this job. So. <laughs> Hey, we've got a great show for you tonight. 21 Savage is here, so stick around. We'll be right back. Thank you.